Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be using my modelling kits to show you the difference between diamond and graphite. I think straight away you can see they're quite different and they have very, very different properties. I just want to thank Tuition Kit who have been sponsoring me, allow me to buy fancy equipment like this so I can really, really show you what's going on with the chemistry. They have a fantastic website where you can take all of your revision videos, schedule them in a timetable that fits around you, schedule everything to make sure you get it done in time for your exams. You should definitely go and check it out. So here we have diamond and here we have graphite, two carbon compounds, they are both pure carbon, but they have very, very different properties. Here is my diamond ring and I would be very, very upset if it dissolved away in the shower every morning. That is because diamond is very, very hard, the hardest thing that we know. And the reason it is very, very hard is because of its properties. And the first difference I want you to notice, if we just look at this one here, it is one, two, three, and then behind it, four, one, two, three, four bonds for each carbon. But the graphite doesn't. It only has one, two, three bonds for each carbon. So the diamond structure is very different, it's very large, it's much more complicated than the structure of graphite because diamond makes four bonds and graphite makes three carbon-carbon bonds. This makes diamond incredibly, incredibly hard but graphite very, very soft because graphite goes around in layers like this and these layers can slide across each other and because these layers can slide across each other that makes graphite soft which means graphite in your pencil lead um, is not lead anymore, it's graphite, even though sometimes we still call it pencil lead. This means when you're writing, it's going to easily come up on the page, whereas that doesn't happen if I wanted to do writing with my diamond ring. I would just make a hole in the page. Because diamond makes four carbon-carbon bonds in diamond, there is no spare electron. Whereas in graphite, it only makes three bonds, meaning there's a spare electron left over. And this hangs around in between the layers. It hanging around in between the layers means that there is a spare electron available to conduct electricity. So graphite, with its layers, can conduct electricity, whereas diamond, which is incredibly hard, incredibly strong, but with no spare electrons, cannot conduct electricity. So even though both of these are pure carbon. They're made from the same thing, they're made in the same way. They are pure carbon. The property is very, very different because of the bonding. Diamond, we have four bonds. Graphite, we have three bonds. This is very, very hard. This is very, very soft. This one does not conduct electricity and this one does conduct electricity. Now, because they're both made of pure carbon, we can do some really, really interesting things with it. You can take pure carbon, anything that's pure carbon, or anything that we can turn into pure carbon, like dead people, I know. Um, dead people or dead pets, if we burn them enough, they will eventually just be pure carbon. And this is basically going to look like soot. But we can take that soot, put it under extreme pressure, extreme temperatures, we can change the bonding in it, and we can change it into diamond. So, we can use chemistry for some quite interesting things and you need to understand why diamond and graphite are very similar but very, very different. 